Hello everybody, it's me Billy of Speed Force Productions and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. First off, I'd just like to say thank you all for 10,000 subscribers. I am amazed. This is the most amount I've ever had. And just so you know, there's going to be a 10k special very soon, just in the middle of making it. So yeah, be on the lookout for it when it comes out. Now let's get into the topic at hand. Originally I wasn't even going to do a video on this, but I figured because of the lack of content and the fact that I need to do something just so I can combine this and work, uh, just for bring back some content. So yeah, we're doing discussions and might do some gaming stuff more. We'll see when the time comes. So as you can tell with the title of this video, we are talking about the recent leak that happened, which, okay, normally I probably wouldn't talk about a leak to a game or anything else, but the fact that there are reliable sources to this leak, especially like uh, the first instance of this leak was, uh, it came from a website from a company that is specific to doing the German dubs to the Sonic the Hedgehog games and even listings for this game have popped up online like through various different retailers and yeah um that said uh let's just uh, talk about this uh so right off the bat this is talking about the recent leaked remaster for sonic colors which is quite obvious as i'm playing gameplay of this game that i recorded earlier <laughs> Um, what do I think about this? Uh, I was not expecting there to be a remaster, or even just a port of Sonic Colors, like, ever, because, like, you know, it's been nearly 11 years since Sonic Colors came out, and they, I thought they probably would have done something around the time of the release of the Xbox One and the PS4, or even the Switch. Because as a matter of fact, that remaster of Colors is said to come to the Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. And yeah, that, that it would have made more sense if they ported it, or remastered it or whatever, back when those consoles were new. Which makes me question if they're even going to be put onto the PS5 or the Xbox Series X. We don't know. Uh, nothing's been said about a PC version of the game, like, and plus if there is a PC version, would they put it on Steam, would they put it on the Epic Game Store, we don't know. Now this leak could have been faked, it could have just been a misunderstanding with retailers, but because we have reliable sources, and the fact that, well, why would, why would official stores make a fake, then again that actually has happened. Now, my thoughts on the remaster, why Sonic Colors of all games? Okay, yeah, if you like Sonic Colors, that's great. If you don't, well, sorry that it wasn't the game for you. For me, I think it's in the middle. There are things I like about the game, but there's things I don't like about the game. So it's right down in the middle in terms of where I would rank it in the Sonic the Hedgehog series. There is some redeeming qualities to the game, like the music's great, visually for a Nintendo Wii game. It looks breathtaking. The animation is quite alright, but not the greatest. Uh, gameplay, it feels like a downgrade to Unleashed. And the Wisps, they're okay. Story, it could have been better. Characters, oof. Just oof. But again, if people like that stuff, then good for them. At least they found some enjoyment out of something that I'm not too fond of. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do another video similar to this where I'm talking about other Sonic games I would like to see get remastered. Because uh, there was that like leak that talked about a like potential HD collection. Uh, I'm probably gonna talk about that in a future video as soon as I find out what was on that because I, I haven't really seen the, the leak myself, so I, I, want, I want to read it before I make a video on it. If this, if this remaster is a legit thing that 
they're actually going to do for the 30th anniversary, they're like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll pick it up just for the collection purposes, because I have like a big Sonic the Hedgehog game collection where I'm trying to get like every physical release of every Sonic game, and that includes this when it if it, if it gets potentially released. Because yeah, it's said that this remaster will be coming to the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox One, and the PS4. Which, I'm kind of questioning if... I think I've already said this, um, I think I'm questioning the fact if this will probably be... on PS5 and the Xbox Series X. It might be, it might just be like a backwards compatibility thing, we don't know. Or it could even be like, you could get a PS4 version, there's a digital version for PS5, and if you get the PS4 version, you get a free upgrade like other PS4 games. Makes sense. I'm not too thrilled about it being colors because like I feel other Sonic games probably deserved a chance to be remastered as well like Unleashed or even uh, the Storybook games or even the Sonic Advance games. That would be nice. But as I said before I'll go more into detail about that in a future video. But from Sega's point of view, I think it made sense because at the time of Sonic Colors' release, it was the most praised Sonic game since I think Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes? Something like that? I don't know. That's in terms of the main series Sonic games. If we're including like all the non-main series and spin-off stuff, then it hasn't been that long since the last game they got praised for with Sonic. And plus, it was quite successful of a game, so so there is that. Uh, another thing I wanted to bring up is it's it's quickly it's just a quick brief thing. Uh, I didn't I didn't really think about making a whole video for it, but it's the fact that well, someone discovered that there's a potential PS5 upgrade for Sonic Forces. So I I from what I saw on it, I. It was just saying that there was probably a PS5 Sonic Forces on the way, and the only thing I could really think of that they're probably going to do for that is just update the graphics to be more like if it was on a PS5. So, ray tracing. That's all I can think of. There might be something else, but other than that, I don't really see them doing anything else to that game. But yeah, that'll be interesting if that's legit, unless that's just a mistake, you never know. Oh yeah, another thing about Sonic Colors is um, the name that was given for this remaster, which is kind of confusing to me. They, It's been said that it's going to be called Sonic Colors Ultimate. Normally when I think of a game that has like stuff with like an extra name to it if it's getting like a remaster or something. I would think that's them adding more content to it, but nothing's been said if there's going to be more content for this game. So if there is going to be more content then yeah, okay, I get it. No, that, that's a fair reason to um, call it Sonic Colors Ultimate. But if it's just the normal game, but then again, it could just be like the updating of the graphics, maybe, because that's the only thing they could probably change that in the controls. Or even another thing, um, if they wanted to, out of nowhere, include the Nintendo DS version of Sonic Colors, which I don't think that would be possible. It might, but you never know. Uh, yeah, if they wanted to, like, include that, then, yeah, sure, go for it, call it Sonic Colors Ultimate. But if there's like nothing that really warrants any like significant differences other than the graphics, then I don't really see why they should call it Sonic Colors Ultimate. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say for this video. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below what you think about this leak. I will provide a source to this leak in the, down in the description. And make sure to subscribe if you're new to that channel. And yeah, I'll be doing more videos like this, so be on the lookout for those. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Till then, take care.